Morning guys, Andy Demi here. I hope you're well. So, I had a bit of a epiphany this morning because so many people have inconsistent results, okay, in their trading in particular and, you know, in general performance, right? We always have good intentions and we don't always do what we say we're going to do, right? And, you know, when going relating it to trading, you know, everybody focuses on the technical aspect, right? It's, that's why people want to buy indicators, they want to buy signal services, they want quick money, essentially. But it doesn't work, does it? Quick money doesn't work. And even if you find a good signal provider, which is very difficult to find, but even if you did, chances are you're not going to make money from it. In fact, that was the case for me. So when I first started out, I was pretty vigilant in my research and I ended up finding a decent trader that I could follow. Okay, and that was um, a little while ago now, um, maybe 12, 13 uh, years ago. So at that time, I was just getting a little bit more knowledge. Um, I started to, bit, to trade a bit, a bit better, um, you know, having experienced a little bit of um, negative um, trading where I lost some money. But at that point, I started to get better. And I thought, you know what, I, if I could get a little bit of help from somebody who's clearly making money, then I'm going to do well. But no matter how good the signal was, I still couldn't make money. And it's only now that I realized um, that the reason is, is because if what you do in your general day life isn't congruent with success, whatever you are in your everyday life, is what you are in the market. So if you're scattered, if you're disorganized, if you, for example, always snooze in the morning when you know you say you're gonna to go to the gym, well, most likely you're gonna bring that same attitude, that same presence into the market. And then you will wonder why is it that you're not making money? and you'll go and look for some other special indicator that's gonna help you get there, but it never happens, right? So, obviously if, I'm, if, if you're somebody professional and you're listening to this, then you are at a different level and you've overcome those obstacles. And, you know, and even myself now, I don't claim to be this perfect person. In fact, you know, I have to always battle with myself internally. And this morning was a prime example. I got up, uh, my intention was good. Um, I put my alarm on early, I needed to go to the gym because I know how much of a difference that makes to my overall performance. And I didn't get the best night's sleep, went to bed a little bit later, my own fault, chose to go a little bit later. Um, but I was very, very tempted to say, you know what, I'm going to snooze it and go and get that extra hour so I'll wake up at six instead of five. And I thought, no, you're getting up. And you're, the reason you're struggling today is because you chose basically to stay up and not go to bed um, early. So now you've got to get up and you're going to be a bit tired but you're gonna to go to the gym, and that's exactly what I did, okay? But I had to really fight myself. Now, if you come up with these kind of internal battles regularly, you know what the right choice is. And think of the cost, not in the moment, just the pleasure of not going to the gym or whatever it might be for you. Think of the big cost. What is it, what is it really costing you? how much money, how much freedom, how much energy is it really costing you in the long term for a little bit of pleasure. So 
I wanted to share that with you, and, and by the way, I'm not just talking about the gym, I'm talking about anything that you set your mind to and you know improves you, okay, so if it's meditation, if it's eating well, whatever it is for you, or combination of those things, if you say, look, this is what I'm doing, stick to it, just keep your word, the better you keep your word, the better your performance is going to be in the market, I can tell you that from experience, and try it. Okay, do it for a month. Set some parameters, set some goals, small mini things that you're gonna follow through with. Don't make it unachievable. Set something that you feel you're gonna follow through with and then do it. Follow through with it and let me know what happens to your PL in the markets. Guys, wishing you a great day. Good trading. See you soon.